Hello everyone and welcome back to Jimmy Talks Jira. This week and over the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing a mini-series of videos that will also be articles in the online community, all revolving around Atlassian Access. If you've been in the online community, you will know that Access is one of those areas that people have a lot of questions about the features, getting started, and configuring it. I'm going to take a number of the hot topic issues, and we're going to do some walkthroughs just to give people uh, a visual understanding of how to get started. Without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so before we get started, uh, let's talk about some of the uh, things that are in scope and out of scope for this video. Um, I am not going to be talking about how to uh, purchase and set up a public domain, uh, as well as uh, showing any of the managing of the DNS settings, uh, all for security reasons. Um, I'm also going to do my best not to show the uh, value that's going to be in the administration panel for allowing me to verify my domain, again, for security purposes. Um, all right, let's, let's start here. So first thing we're going to need to do is go to the uh, Atlassian Organization administration page. Um, you can do that either by going to this waffle menu and selecting administration, uh, or you can type in um, admin. Uh, .atlassian.com and then you can select whatever organization you are an organization admin for uh, so that you can get started. Now um, I'm just going to quickly show off that under directory and then managed accounts you will see I don't have any managed accounts. I'm doing this so that we can show what that's going to look like before we've done any domain verification as well as what it's going to look like afterwards. So we can click that verify domains or we can go to settings and then domains and that's going to take us to the exact same spot. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to copy um, that value that is there. And I'm going to be doing this uh, on the other side here on a different page uh, for adding that value in. Uh, but what I will do is I'm going to show you what it should look like. Um, if you have uh, set it up the way that Atlassian has uh, recommended that you do it. So just bear with me here for one second while I get those set up. And I will just show you uh, the what you want to be seeing here. So when you go to manage your, your DNS settings, um, assuming you have the access to do this, it's going to look something like this. If you don't, you're going to need to just send these values um, to whoever within your company, probably someone within, within your IT team has access to do so. Um, what Atlassian has in their documentation for the recommendations, you want the type set to TXT. The name you can either leave blank or as the at symbol. You're going to take that value we copied and you're going to send that to whoever it is that uh, can make these changes or you're gonna copy that value into the value string area here. Uh, for TTL, that is time to live. It's kind of like a heartbeat value. You're going to wanna to set it for 86,400 seconds. That is what Atlassian has listed in the uh, documentation. And then once you're done, you're gonna click the add record button and wait until your DNS uh, settings say that you successfully added that entry. You get a success message, cool. We're halfway there. Now, this is the part where it can take uh, a bit of time. And we're going to hope that I get this all uh, live. But we may have to cut the video. I'll let you know how long it takes. And uh, we'll come back to this uh, once we can complete the second part of that. Atlassian's documentation says this can take upwards of 72 hours. And really what that's about is that once you've made that change to your DNS, you need your domain provider to make that available online so that you can actually, uh, so that Lassen can actually read those settings. So what we're gonna do next uh, as a part of that is we're gonna click this verify domain and we decided to use the DNS, uh, T uh, the TXT record method so we're going to leave that there. If we went with the HTTPS method, which I'm not going to actually show in this video, 
um, we would need to copy a file and what we would be doing is coming over to this here, downloading this verification.html and adding it to the root of the website that our domain is running on. I don't have that set up properly uh, to really show this off, so we're not going to um, we're not going to go that route for this. We're going to go the DNS route. So we're going to click verify. We're going to leave it at txt record because that's what we had entered, and we're going to put in our domain. Um, my domain happens to be jimmytalkstero.com, and then we're going to click verify. Now, what you will see is um, that I have. Uh, one Atlassian account to, to claim for that domain. The fact that I've got to this part makes me think that it has actually verified immediately. And what this is basically going to do as the next step is all accounts within Atlassian ID, so that's people who have uh, signed up for the online community or people who are registered in Atlassian Cloud products with a domain extension for the domain you own, so much like my jimmytoxjura.com domain, uh, if your company is, you know, acme.com, anyone who has registered with an acme.com email address, you are now going to have the option to claim those accounts from Atlassian. What that means when you claim the accounts is, A, you will be sending an email notification to every user that you are claiming to let them know that your company is now controlling their account instead of Atlassian. You will also have the ability to choose what they have access to, including the online community. Um, the idea behind this is that since you are saying that you are the owner of this domain, you have control over what people do with accounts for that domain. If you don't want people using their corporate accounts to access things like the online community, you have the ability to control that and users who want to do that outside of uh, their work account should use something like their personal Gmail or something. So I'm going to claim this account and the reason for that is we want to be able to show off what a managed account looks like after we've verified a, dona a domain and we're going to go to view managed accounts. So you'll now see I have just my one user um, I have a confluence and I can show the details of that user. I just want to quickly go back to our domains and show off that what we now have is one DNS record uh, method domain that is verified and there is one managed account with it. That's all there is for uh, verifying your domain. The thing that you may run into is that you're going to have, be in the status of unverified. And as I mentioned in the documentation, depending on who you have registered your public domain with, it may take a little bit longer for the Atlassian system to pick up the, the TXT record. Um, as I said, up to 72 hours. So you might want to just wait a couple of days and see what happens. Uh, I know most people, if it goes beyond that 72 hour period, um, it might be worth contacting Atlassian support just to see if they can take a look at the log files to see if there's any uh, visible error messages that are being displayed as to why it's not picking up your verified domain. Um, with that, that's all there is for verifying a domain. I hope you found this video informative and be sure to tune in next week as we cover how to change the email address of both a managed and unmanaged user in your Atlassian organization once you have verified your domain. Before I let you go, I'd like to call your attention to Confluence's Customer Love Month. This is the current running promotion in the online community. There will be a link in the description to the article. Please go and check it out. It will have links to all the things that you can uh, get involved in to participate in that event. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. And please leave a comment below if there's something you'd like me to cover in the future. Thanks for stopping by.